Nigerians have been advised to exercise their franchise legitimately by shunning the act of vote buying and other forms of electoral malpractices. This and many more were the submissions of speakers at a political summit on good governance in Ibadan, the Oyo State capital. Olaidi Oyewale reports. Come February 2023, Nigerians will go to the polls to exercise their civic duties by voting for leaders of their choice. But over the years, issues of electoral irregularities caused by desperate politicians still remain a major challenge to the progress of the country's democracy. Stakeholders identified vote buying, ballot snatching, among others, as part of the strategies of desperate politicians to win election at all costs. Speakers at the summit advised political leaders to embrace the virtue of effective governance, which they believe can only be achieved through adherence to the rule of law. If the government of the people, by the people, for the people, excludes some people, it is no government. That some people are excluded, or some people believe they don't belong, then that government is not for those people. And government must be for all the people. Some participants also expressed concerns over threats to peaceful conduct of 2023 election, especially attacks on INEC offices. They also warned politicians against the destruction of their opponents' banners, posters, and other campaign materials, noting that elections should not be a do or die affair. They want not only big boss in the past, they want houses, offices. But where did they lead? The parties and the, the thugs to dead end. This is the time to present a credible program to the people. On no account should there be use of talking or intimidation. This is the time there should be a peaceful and free, free and fair election where people will not have fear to vote for the candidate of their choice. The event, which is an initiative of the National Movement for Positive Change, was attended by community leaders, representatives of different political parties in Oyo State, and other stakeholders. Olaidio Yoli, TVC News, Ibadan.